potentially he committed eight different crimes. Uh, we need to dig out the evidence. He needs to be put under oath. He needs to be investigated. He's got his book coming out, and I read recently. I'm sure it'll be an MSNBC the conspiracy theorist any yeah, day now. That'll be an interesting read. It, you'll find it under the fiction category. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then you've got all kinds of people, uh, as you pointed out, it looks like the fix was in, and they did it for political reasons to clear Hillary Clinton. That's obstruction of justice and other crimes. Uh, I shouldn't even call you a congressman because you're a recovering politician. Yes, yes, uh, thank you. We always love having you on Fox. Thanks. From your vantage point, you know, you, listen, you were involved in a lot of these issues. One of the biggest frustrations that I think people out there have is Republicans get closed fast and furious. We get truth. Nobody ever gets held accountable. Yeah. I'm laying out this case as strongly as I can. Have you ever seen anything like it, number one? How bad do you think it is? And do you see enough evidence that people should be indicted in this particular case, or at least a special counsel? How would you want them to proceed? I, I have never seen something so comprehensive at the senior most levels. I, I was the one that actually signed the subpoenas to actually get these documents. I was the one that was trying to ex extract this information. And this deep state that was there kind of protecting. Words, we, we know Nunes had to wait a year. And then yeah. Rod Rosenstein begged Paul Ryan in the final to the, hours. That, that is one of the most offensive things I can believe. I can't believe the speaker. I, a, I'm glad that Speaker Ryan stood No, he held his ground. He did. But it's embarrassing that he did that. And, it, you know, they don't, myself, Trey Gowdy, they don't give us handcuffs. There were plenty of people that came before us that should be in handcuffs. And at least that information should be going to a grand jury. They should, I, these people are not only obstructing justice, but they are actually political players to manipulate an election and to, Isn't to, that to what take makes down it a, so bad. Yes. Because you, you were absolutely attacking the very foundation of our country, not only when he was a candidate, not have fair fight. And where is Bernie Sanders in all this? Yeah, I mean, he got manipulated, too, and he got silent manipulated. On this. He got robbed. He did. All right, David, um, let's look at Watergate. You got a third-rate burglary. You got cover-up afterwards that leads to one president leaving office, others going to jail in, in that particular case. As you see these facts unfolding, as you read these memos, and in the case of Devin Nunes in the House Intel Committee, this is one of at least five, and you read the Grassley-Graham memo, what are you thinking about in terms of the law and about the comparisons to Watergate? One thing that strikes me, Sean, is that during Watergate, you had certain key players in the Republican Party, Nixon and others, uh, who thought they could do things, and they had low-level operatives uh, tasking out these things. Now what we have today is an entire radicalized Democratic leftist party that was in control. Uh, Obama was virtually immune for every, from everything uh, he did. He had no accountability. And we had him politicizing literally every agency that he thought was important. The IRS, we know what he did with the IRS, turning it on his political opponents, or our, our uh, lowest learner, whatever. It's, they're all, all do, doing Obama's bidding. And, and what they did with the FBI and the DOJ, we know since the time of Clinton, they've been staffing uh, these agencies, the DOJ, the FBI, with political operatives who care more about advancing the liberal agenda than they do the rule of law. And so we're seeing this an upside down situation where now there's an investigation of Donald Trump for something that didn't even occur. And I'm not suggesting, I'm not going to go so far as well, to let, suggest let me ask you, the uh, investigation. What, okay, what should ahead. happen from here? Well, I, I think that they, I, what I hope happens is that we have a counter investigation that someone either appoints a special counsel or that the DOJ starts to investigate what was going on during the Obama, uh, the Obama reign because they were protecting Hillary. They tried to influence an election. It's always the left always projects, as Devin mm. Nunes says, what they accuse you of, they were doing. They tried to affect the outcome of the election, uh, and it is very corrupt that, all the way that's through what the they thing. were doing. And, and they thought they knew better. They, they helped Hillary stay in the game, they covered up, and then they advanced all this phony crap to the American people and then used it as a FISA warrant. What should happen? We've got 30 seconds each for you guys. How should we proceed, Greg? There's got to be a second special counsel to investigate the investigators. They cleared Hillary Clinton when they knew she had likely committed crimes. And then they, There's no con doubt she committed they conjured up a phony investigation without any evidence, without any indication of a crime being committed, 
to frame Donald Trump for something he did not do, you have to have a second special counsel. I think within the next 60 days, you're going to see the inspector general has been looking at this for a year. They've been quiet. You trust silent. him? I do trust him. He sat with myself and Trey Gowdy. Trey and I both believe wholeheartedly in Michael Horowitz, 450 employees. I also think you're going to need to get rid of the attorney general. He can't do his job. He's recused out of the most important thing that he's supposed to be doing. We wouldn't have been here if he didn't recuse. Yeah. Uh, all right. Thank you all. We appreciate it. All right. We have more breaking news tonight. Ed Henry, an exclusive report about a top Democrat's communication with a lobbyist for a Russian oligarch and the latest on Uranium One straight ahead. This is a last chance alert. It's happening. In just days, Publishers Clearinghouse will definitely award the $5,000.